Well, Happy New Year to everybody. Sorry I did not get a video put out on the first like I was planning on. Here's why. So I had that really cool footage of some of the stuff we've been doing and I went to pull it off on Monday and make a video and I realized that the card, all that was on, I had formatted it without taking all the videos and putting on the hard drive first. And on top of that, I went and recorded some other video footage on top of it. I tried, I tried like three different programs to recover that info, just couldn't get it done. So I lost all of that and it frustrated me so bad. I'm like, heck with it, I'm not even gonna deal with this. So besides being frustrated with uh, formatting a card that I shouldn't have, I've been working a lot in the shop even though I've got this thing going on. Uh, I'm learning to kind of work around it. I know I'm making this part of my hand really sore trying to grip stuff because I can't put any pressure on this area of my thumb. I did get the stitches out, and uh, which was a blessing because, man, those things going through the top of my uh, thumbnail, every time you stretch your thumb out straight, it'd pull on it and just hurt like crazy. So I was pretty happy to get rid of those things. And it's feeling better. It's you know nowhere near healed up yet. I'd like to take a picture and say, hey, this is what it looks like, but it's still pretty gross looking. So maybe a few weeks down the road, I'll take a picture once it kind of heals up a little bit and show you what I actually did to it. But it's getting better. And thank everybody for the well wishes on the last video where I explained the stupidity of doing this. I uh, appreciate all those. And I've been working in the shop quite a bit and getting these things done. These are Chromebooks for or Chromebook cases for another school. I made some for my wife's school. Some other schools seen it. They wanted some. So I've been making those things. I was supposed to get this done like two months ago. Just been so busy with other stuff. I just didn't get it done. So finally getting a chance to get that done. <laughs> what kind of bums me out is I took a couple weeks off of work to get some stuff done, have fun with the family. And then right off the bat, I did this. So it's kind of put a damper on getting a lot of this stuff done, but I'm learning to work around it. But buttoning shirts, um, pants, boy, it's a real pain when you don't have a second thumb to use. Figured that out real quick that I use this way more often than I thought I did. So I uh, hope I never do anything like that again. The other thing I've been doing is clearing quite a bit of snow. We keep getting little storms, dumping four or five inches here and there. A couple things. I use the four-wheeler to do most of the plowing. I know I've got that nice little Branson tractor and I wish I had a plow for that thing uh, to plow the driveway off with, but all I've got is a front-end loader bucket and if you've ever tried to plow snow with a front-end loader, which I've done a lot, it's just kind of a pain. And the blade, you know, you can just throw it to one side and make one swipe down. Of course, on the four-wheeler, you've got to take multiple swipes. But if I had a blade for the tractor, I could just, you know, go plow the snow and it would be super helpful. I just haven't picked one up yet. I haven't found one at a good price that I want to pay for one. It's got a skid steer mount on the tractor and they make a lot of different blades to go on that kind of mount. <clears throat> and I'd like to get one. It's just not in the cards right now. But that's the reason I use the four-wheeler is it just seems faster. I do use the tractor to push the snow back, the berms back if they get too high because when you're using a four-wheeler and you get dumped on like two or three feet of snow, <clears throat> or like a couple years ago, we wound up with about four feet. If the wind wasn't blowing, it'd be about four feet of snow. And if you don't plow it back wide enough to begin with, boy, you've got a heck of a mess to contend with trying to figure out what to do with all this snow. And if you've made that mistake, the tractor works pretty good to push those berms back so you've got somewhere to put the snow. Anyway, that little uh, four-wheeler setup, I've had it since we moved out here in 2003, so 15 years, and the thing's worked remarkably well. Uh, that blade's put up with a lot of abuse. I used to plow the neighbor's road, which is a little over a quarter mile, maybe a third of a mile long, and they used four-inch minus on that road. So out in the middle where it hasn't compacted down, it's just got great big clumps of... Uh, or big rocks to contend with. So you're down there smacking that blade constantly against rocks. And it put up with a lot of abuse. I don't plow the driveway anymore. It was an old couple that lived back there that have since passed away. And the new folks take care of it themselves. But 
boy, probably 12 years of plowing that road plus ours, that little blade, I didn't think there's any way it was going to put up with all that. And the winch on the four wheeler has done really well. It's been a great setup. I've had about zero issue besides wearing the cable out once. But it's been a, a good deal. Like I said, the tractor I think would be nicer, uh, be a lot easier, a lot faster if you had a wide blade to just go plow snow. But you got to do what you got to do. The one thing that I couldn't get done this year was normally I wait for about three, four inch snow, let it pack down good before I start plowing because I don't like taking the gravel off the driveway. And you know, those plows come with little feet that are supposed to help with that. Well, the first year I gave up on those things, what a total pain those things were. So I ditched those things and just let it go down as deep as it wants to go. But <laughs> we've got some gravel on the where we park mainly. I put about two yards of um, river gravel, you know, I think it's three quarter minus river gravel, round gravel, and it never compacts. It never locks together, which I guess is good. In certain cases, it worked great for drainage, but in a parking area or driveway, it's terrible because if you plow it and you don't have a good snow compaction on top of it, it wants to take all that off and it winds up in your grass or whatever. And <laughs> we wind up mowing it and throw it into the windows in my shop about half the time. So I try and avoid that. But this year, um, by the way, that gravel was just a leftover, like two yards I had from a, a cement project. And so I was like, well, I'll just use it for this, thinking that it would kind of settle down in the mud, but it never has. And so, yeah, I hate that stuff. Never again will I put that stuff in a parking area or a driveway. Uh, hopefully next year I will get some uh, crushed gravel and put back on there so it will compact and lock up. That way you're not so likely to plow it off all the time. Anyway, where was I going with that? Totally lost my train of thought there. One of the things, uh, the reason I had to hop on that so quick this time was I got about eight inches of snow and we live out in an area, I've mentioned it on a couple videos, lots of wind. So we get this light puffy snow, lots of wind, and it just drifts like crazy. And if you don't stay on top of it, you just really have a big mess to contend with. And then <laughs> if it warms up at all, and that stuff settles and you got drifts, you know, a couple feet deep of heavy snow, it's a total pain to get rid of, especially with a four wheeler. The tractor is not a big problem getting it pushed off, but I just soon stay on top of it and get it plowed off. And even a worse thing that happens is it'll warm up, settle down, and then it'll get cold again, like down to 10. And that stuff locks up like just a one big hunk of ice out there. And then you have a really hard time getting it off. So. I've been having to plow uh, quite often as that snow fell just to avoid those situations. So uh, I'm unfortunately peeling a little bit of the gravel off. I'm trying not to, trying to keep that blade hovering just above it. And uh, fortunately, uh, a couple days ago, we got a couple more inches of snow. And I just let that sit on the driveway and it's compacting down. And so hopefully this next storm that's coming in, we're supposed to get... <clears throat> I don't know, the estimates are anywhere from three to seven inches of snow. Uh, we love snow. Um, winter's my favorite time of year, especially when I have snowmobiles. Right now I don't have any, but normally I have a sled and uh, I, I'm not a hot weather kind of guy. I'd much rather go out and play in the snow and to put layers on to stay warm than trying to uh, cool off when there's really no way to cool off. So I'm kind of a cold weather guy, I always have been. So winter's our thing. And so having snow on the ground, we love it. The kids love playing. So anyway, just wanted to give everybody an update on what we've been doing and uh, wish everybody a, a happy new year. And I've got some more videos I'm in the process of editing and hope to have those out here in a, a few days. I've got to finish these projects in the shop first, which uh, I've been trying to get those out of my hair so I can focus more on some videos. And it seems like the reason I haven't taken you along out in the shop is it seems like when I, when I do that, it just slows the process down so much. And sometimes I don't mind that. When I'm trying to get these projects done, I just want to get them done. So anyway, thanks for watching. 
Thanks for subscribing. Uh, give us a thumbs up once in a while if you think we deserve it. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Well, I almost forgot to thank uh, KS Fixit Man or Kansas Fixit Man, one of our subscribers, who came up with some excellent logo ideas. Uh, you saw one at the start of the video there. And um, we're still shooting ideas back and forth. Uh, he's, I'm probably driving him absolutely insane uh, with making all these little changes. But it's coming along pretty good. I think it looks really good. And uh, probably a couple little more minor tweaks we're going to do. Uh, I don't think the one I used was actually the final one that uh, he'd come up with. I just grabbed it real quick to throw it on the video. But anyway, a uh, huge thank you to uh, Kansas Fix-It Man for uh, putting up with me doing these logos. See you guys on the next video.